So today I thought it'd be fun to talk about the difference between different types of embroidery thread. Now what I've found is that the majority of these threads are very similar in their functionality. I've not found any that are from Amazon where I've got most of these or from the more expensive um, Husqvarna Viking shop where I got these white ones. Um, but I wanted to sort of explain why you might pay more for some things and understand the difference. So here are two types. So these are from the Husqvarna Viking. This is from Amazon. And this is a new supplier that I've discovered for industrial size cones. You can see the size difference. And the same company, Monfi, in Granby, Quebec, um, also sounds the, sells this metallic 150, or 670 meters, so large spools of metallic thread. <coughs> and here is the smaller version of the Monfi Super B um, embroidery thread. And you'll see it's bigger spools again than the standard domestic size. So the interesting thing is what's the difference between these first ones which are domestic size spools. Well, the thread itself, I've not found all that much different. Some are smoother than others, but in general with a bit of playing around with needles and thread tensions on the machine, you can get excellent results with very few thread breakage. Where the biggest difference happens is actually in the spool itself. So what you can see here is that this little bit here on the bottom releases and what that means is you can put your thread underneath this little spool bit and then push it up and it locks the thread in space in place so you don't get this sort of escaping loose threads and with the result that you end up with a, a giant spaghetti um, like this so that itself is, is wonderful, and it's generally kind of simple to do. There's a little notch you have to find, and once you find that notch, it's easy to put, put the uh, thread under the notch and push the bottom up. So that's the biggest difference I found. Now what you can see here is that the, this edge on this is very smooth so you're very unlikely to get a thread catch which these it's it's quite rough and it's easy if you're not careful to get a thread catch so you can see there a little sharp edge and if the thread were to um, catch on that you're going to get that effect which then is going to wreck well ruin the tension on your embroidery project for that brief bit until you resolve it so that's the biggest difference I've found with some of these threads. Um, <clears throat> until such time as you get to the commercial, um, commercial size spools. So here we have a, a jumbo spool of 5,000 meters. I mean, there's a lot of thread, but the thread itself feels exactly the same as the the larger as the the domestic I can't say there's any difference it's still 40 weight it's just as smooth it works very well on my machine and I can't really fault that spool and then we have a larger version of the other one where the 
open this up for you. And you can see this base does the same, it pops down, so it's easy to keep your threads tidy. So I like that a lot. Now, the, the spool on this, industri this metal thread is the same, it, it pops down. But what I want to do is spend a minute or two talking about this particular metallic thread. So it's very nice. It's got an inner core of nylon. I don't know if you can see, let's see if we can see that. It's got an inner, see the fuzzy bit? So that's the inner core of nylon. And the outside of the thread is actual metal thread wrapped around it. And it's pretty much, in fact, I think it's, it's very, very similar in, see if you do that, you can see what happens. The thread will separate and go swirly, but in, you can see then stretch it out and it, it wrapped around. But it, it's not really any less smooth than this which makes it absolutely fantastic. So to me this is, you know, a 10 out of 10, absolutely stunning. I'm sure the Madeira threads and whatnot are, are very similar to that. But I'm really, really pleased and I'm going to show you sewing this um, with this metal thread on net, which you wouldn't think would be possible, but I'm going to do it now. So here's the thread guide from www.superpunch.com, but I've ordered it from um, monfi.ca for Canada, and uh, this is the card which shows you some of their offerings. So you can compare to the brother colors, which are you know standard for a lot of embroidery machines, and then you can match them up. But they also have a very very good selection of the metal threads as well. So I'm very, very pleased with this. They, in fact, in my first order with them, sent me some samples of their sewing thread. So this looks like your standard spool of um, overlocker thread, but it's really high quality. You can use it for sewing. And it's slub free, which is, you find a lot of times with uh, these large spools, the thread isn't evenly even in this diameter, so you get tension issues. But this one, you know, it's a little furrier than some, but that doesn't bother me too much. But there are no slubs, so it'll, it won't be a problem for tension. And the prices are extremely good because you're talking commercial thread. They also sent me some samples of some tearaway stabilizer, and this feels extremely good quality, very much like the stuff I get would get from the Husqvarna shop. Um, really, really good. It also comes in black tearaway, and it really does feel like fabric. I mean, it's stunning to touch. And here is cutaway, so it's really good stuff. So I think that I probably. I mean, the shipping will go up a bit, I think. Although if you pay, if you buy over a hundred dollars Canadian worth of stuff, you get free shipping. So that's easy to do if you order a lot of threads and this, you know, meters of the stabilizer. It doesn't take long to go up to that price. So it's worth the shipping. But it's also really good quality stuff, so it'll make excellent results. So I'm I'm very pleased that I found this company because it's always been a pain for me to try and get out to some of the companies which sell decent quality so you know it's an hour drive each way minimum and in traffic it can be two and a half hours each each way just to get there so you've got your gas costs and everything else so for me I've been looking for an internet source in Canada um, just because it's diff it's slow across the border sometimes, so this took two days to get here. It would have been the next day, but just one of the, the truck, it missed the first truck, so that was it. So, but two days is nothing to uh, get, get stuff for me. So let's pop over to the machine and see some of the uh, metal, metallic thread in action. So here you can see I'm working on 
my peacock. It's got metallic thread. This is white. You can just barely see it, but anyway, that's white, white uh, embroidery thread there. The the commercial one that I showed you just before. This is the metal metallic silver that I showed you before, and here we've got a variegated um, metallic thread as well. You can see how it works, so we'll gear up the machine and go. So this is on net, as you can see, um, and I'm practicing for what will eventually be a tablecloth runner, and this should, the, the peacocks and the other bits will go around the edge of the tablecloth underneath for when guests come. You can see it's very easy to sew with, and yes, you can sew at a much higher speed than I'm doing right at the moment. So once I go to the really wide zigzag, you'll realize how quickly the metal metallic thread is pulling through the tension without any problem whatsoever. So we're getting to the wide bits now. You can even sew back over top of it quite effectively, at least you know, just to even up the edges. Okay, and we'll jump over here. See how amazing the results are. I mean, it's a beautiful thread. I never thought I would enjoy metallic thread so much since it is generally quite difficult to sew to embroider with. This stuff is super easy. It gives really good results. Thread caught on the rough edge of my table there. I should get this sander out, but I find that acrylic stuff is extremely difficult to sand effectively. Okay, and last but not least. Snip. Put some thread through. Cut the bobbin thread. Let's see how well that shows up. So that's. I need to slip away the threads, um, but you can see. Ignore that. That was a pra the practice thing. But that's how the mode. Let me zoom back out. 
knowing the brown bit, but basically I think what I'm going to do is I'll have a peacock, the hummingbird and the flower, and then a scalloped edge here all the way along. I think that that will look quite nice as a table edge. Just very simple, but uh, you know, quite a lot of work to do the whole thing along. I might add some extra bits in there just to make it more interesting, but we shall see. But at least that's pretty much, it's, it's metallic thread except for the white, which is white embroidery thread. But yeah, it looks really good. So, I mean, how amazing is that? Now what I am using, oops, not those ones, is for needles, let's zoom in. It's size 14 industrial sewing machine needles. And they're working just fine. I've increased the size and not got any thread breakage, but it's working very well. Of course with the new uh, finally arrived, my embroidery plate, so that's no catches, it's working really well. And also you can see I'm using the uh, silicon thread um, oil to make sure that there's definitely no problems whatsoever, and not a problem, no thread breakage. Except if I do something stupid, but generally no thread breakage.